We're here with AM Commerce head track and field coach George Pincock after the first day here in Kingsville at the D2 Outdoor Championships. First thing I want to talk about the men's 4x1, posting the fastest time in the field. Uh, that was pretty hot outside and pretty hot time, too. Yeah, you know, I, I think our goal um, after running really well at Lone Star Conference Championship was just to come here, be consistent, and have a fast stick all the way around the track. Um, my guys were really amped up, but I'm glad we just executed. Um, and when we got the job done, you know, qualifying was the name of the game today. Uh, next qualification up was Richard Clark in the men's 400. He was in slow heat, and I think the field might have brought him back a little bit, but he did what he needed to do to make the final. Yeah, you know, I, I, he's talented, and we've seen him run, and we've seen him run fast. So, you know, he got through. Um, it was a lot slower than I would have liked. That's not a problem. We know he's capable. Uh, and so we just get ready for another 200 tomorrow afternoon for him. Moving on to the women's side as the day progressed, Ebony Kobe in the 100, uh, second, third fast, no, second time in her uh, heat and third fastest time in the field. That was a heck of a run there uh, on the straight for Ebony. Yeah, no, she's she's been putting together a string of really nice races. She's been executing. We've been working really hard on the front half of her race and just applying force in the right direction. And things are coming together at the right time for her. So just happy to see that result. Sun goes down, cool, uh, things cooled off. Mina Savard in the uh, women's 400 hurdles, that was a heck of a time that she just put up. Yeah, you know, she's coming back. She hasn't been perfectly healthy, and we've kind of taken things slow. But, you know, she ran really, really good in some tough conditions in the hurdles all the way through eight, nine hurdles, and then just kind of chopped it up to play it safe um, and made it through. And then moving on to tomorrow, we're uh, at men's discus, where we're at one and two in the country and women's high jump. Uh, a couple of chances to pick up points and a few more chances to qualify for Saturday. Yeah, again, I, I think our, our message this week to the kids has been you're all in or you're all out. And at the national meet, that's the options you have. Um, and, you know, we've seen that they're here. They're ready to compete. They've trusted their training. Uh, and I'm just excited, especially for those throwers, especially for Chelsea Cheek, just the things that I've seen out of them in practice the last few days. We're absolutely ready for this competition. All right, we'll talk to you again tomorrow night after day two here at the D2 Outdoor Track and Field Championships.